folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today we're going to be making hot spiced cider. Um, hot cider is a really good alternative for holiday gatherings or just a cold winter drink. It's a lot lighter than say cocoa for instance and if you're having a big party and you want something for people to sip on, it's definitely lighter than eggnog. So anyway, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One way where you can mix up these spices over here and then you can make it by the cup or the other way where you can put it in a pot on the stove, a crock pot or a programmable pot like on the sim pot or an instant pot, something like that. And you can make a big batch of it for parties. So for individual servings, and this makes a great Christmas gift too. You can mix this up or if you just want to have a little something maybe to give to somebody that you go to Sunday school with or even a kid's teacher or something. You can mix a little jar of this up and put the instructions on top of it and it's a nice thing to share. Uh, I have two tablespoons of cinnamon and we're just find you a little jar with a good tight lid on it and you can do a little decorative jar if you're going to be giving it away and two teaspoons of um, cloves. These are ground cloves. And I have two teaspoons of allspice. And I've got about a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And like I said, this is a great thing to share. Um, you can put it in a little decorative jar. I've got this one here, even a smaller one. And this is going to make about 40 cups. Because what you're going to do once you get these um, spices mixed up is all you have to do is put about a heaping quarter teaspoon in a cup and warm it. And that way you're not wasting a whole lot. You don't have to stand and cook it forever. You can just heat it in the microwave or whatever. And that's individual spice cider. Mix that up. Put it in a jar with a tight lid and a quarter teaspoon on a cold winter evening and you've got something warm to sip on. Now, um, for parties and large gatherings and stuff, I'm going to give you the ingredients for a quart because it's easy to multiply a quart to a half gallon or a gallon. If you want a half gallon, of course, just double it and a gallon you would want to multiply everything by four. And you can do it two different ways. Um, I have uh, ground spices here and I also have some whole spices. You can use either one if you're going to be simmering it for a while. Like if you wanted to mix up a batch in a crock pot or a programmable pot and go shopping or go cut the Christmas tree or a, a pumpkin patch or whatever, a corn maze, and then come back and have something warm to drink, you could mix it up and put it in your crock pot or your programmable pot and go off and leave it and then when you come home it's ready. Also if you're going to have a big party you can mix it up way ahead of time turn it on, you know, several hours before everybody's going to get there and let it just sit there and simmer. And it's really, really, really going to make the house smell good. Um, for the quart, you need four cups, a quart, of apple cider. Uh, in a pinch, you can use apple juice in this recipe. And I like a little orange juice in mine. Now, orange juice uh, is optional, but the flavors really blend good together. And I usually do it four to one. So if I do four cups of cider, I do one cup of orange juice. If you're doing the individual ones, you can do a cup of cider and a quarter cup of orange juice. But anyway, um, for a quart, you want a couple of cinnamon sticks, not very many whole cloves, and um, you can get whole allspice too. You would want about the same amount of cloves as allspice if you had the whole spice. I went shopping the other day looking for whole allspice and I could not find any here. So if you can't find it, you can just use the ground. And in the quart, I have about a half a teaspoon of ground allspice. And then just a little pinch of nutmeg. 
if you wanted to do all ground spices in uh, your party batch per quart, you would want about a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now I know that cinnamon ratio is higher than what I had in here, but um, if you're going to be cooking it for a while, it's going to kind of mute it down a little bit. About a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of the allspice, a quarter teaspoon of the cloves, and just a little pinch of nutmeg in there. And that'll do a quart. Um, you can put some orange slices in it, uh, serve it, you know, put an orange slice in a cup and serve it, or you can put some orange slices in your pot that you're cooking. Uh, you can also have some extra cinnamon sticks, so people can put a cinnamon stick in their cup when you serve it. And this, you can add whipped cream to this, but I like this recipe this way because it is absolutely zero fat and it is zero added sugar. And especially during the holidays, we can get so much processed sugar that it, it's really easy to get sick on processed sugar. So while it's not low carb, it's nice, like I said, to have something a little lighter. But if you want to put the whipped cream on it, you certainly can. And all you do is just dump your ingredients in your pot and heat it. And I've got a little over here so you can see what it looks like. You might want to get um, a cute ladle if you're going to be serving this. I have one somewhere. Um, I think it may be packed in with my Christmas stuff because that's usually the only time I use it. It... Um, as it simmers, the color does change a little bit. It gets a little milkier like looking. And you can see the orange juice pulp in there too. But that's what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, and like I said, you can let it simmer all day long. You can strain it if you want to, but you certainly don't have to. It's not going to hurt anything if somebody gets a clove in there. But leave a ladle with it and let folks dip it out and drink as they're ready. Kids really love this and one of my kids teachers used to make this when they were in high school. Um, it was a library and she made it every year for their Christmas party and teenagers loved it because she would serve the oranges and the um, cinnamon sticks and stuff with it and they could go around and dip it out and add the cinnamon sticks and stuff to it. And it was kind of something a little bit nicer than just your average punch. And it was a little bit fancier. And they really enjoyed that. I mean, that was something special that they looked forward to every year. So I hope you try this, maybe the individual stuff, and share it with somebody. I said that makes a lot, like 40 cups. Or if you just want something warm at your next party or your next gathering, something to come home to after you've been out doing some cold activity, give this a try. It is something different than what we normally have with the cocoa and the eggnog and, you know, a, a coffee. In the evening, I don't really want a cup of hot coffee to warm me up before I go to bed, but sometimes this is really nice. We really appreciate you joining us in the Hillbilly Kitchen. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe before you leave. And until next time, remember to put God first.